know, I may get more, because that can be worth, like, 50 each, and I have three of them. That's 150 right there. It's pretty damn good. As long as I actually get this tobacco to the store, sell it, go get a room, and don't get murdered by someone in the dead of night. Hello everybody, I'm Echo, and welcome back to Jalopy. Now, this series hasn't been uploaded for... A very, 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 very long time now on the channel. Basically, this series was being recorded before I started doing a lot more organization with my footage and other stuff. I typically didn't have enough footage at the time. To require really a need for sorting even though I still should have I still do today even with small amounts of footage but it was kind of a mess there was a lot of salt because I had real difficulty with this with this one specific area that we're at now which is the mountainous area I believe hello um so in general, I just decided to throw out the footage, work my way back up to here, which would also change things a little bit because I did make some dumb decisions beforehand. So, yeah, we're back in it. A um, few things I need to do before we can get a move on, specifically checking for any money. Nope. 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 And no. Damn it. No extra money, okay. We only have 30 bucks right now because I spent quite a bit. I should also mention, this game is kind of glitchy. I've had a once or twice... Yes, yeah, thank you now. I've had a once or twice now where I haven't been able to say... Actually, no, more than once or twice on that one. But sometimes the next part of the world just doesn't load, which is weird. Um, many different glitches that can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a move on. Ooh, wine is worth 22 now. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull the car over to shop so we can sell a few things. Actually, uh, yes, I know where they are. Oh, show me money. Thank you. You're giving me... Nice. A good bit. That's gonna help. Um, One, one the car isn't black anymore. I'm not sure if it was paying black... In the last episode, but if it was, it's I more. Um, oh, that's not there. I have bought a um, oh, the mud truck, the mud truck things aren't there either. Yeah, occasionally I've had to like completely restart the game to fix a glitch or two, so certain things aren't the way they were. Jay should take a look at the roots. No matter what, the roots are gonna be pretty difficult today because. This area is an absolute ball buster, you know, it's an absolute ball buster, an absolute pain in the ass, okay, let's see, actually, hold on, I want to look at the roots first, because uh, if um, I need to, I'll change the tires out for tires, that will work better, Ugh. 350 would give me more distance, which I I like more distance because, yeah, it gets a little more risk of running into problems, something breaking and having to restart and stuff, but it also gets plenty of space to possibly get boxes. The other two are going to be harder on the tires, though, and Route 1 has possible junkyard and other stuff. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's going to depend on how much money I make off uh, wine and other things. And how much I can buy. It's not going to matter. Because the only other tires I'd replace there are the wet tires for off-road tires. And these are... Oh, nah, can't do anything with these ones. Yeah, I already have wet tires. To go Ooh, medicine is half off. That's nice. Maybe even go for some tobacco. That could be worth a fair bit. Ugh. Wine could be worth so much more if it wasn't off. Um. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, probably gonna have to toss a few toolkits out as well. I really hope I don't have to come back to this town. I'm fairly certain the world actually loaded. You yeah. know. Um. 
any damage incurred from crashing the car. I may get that. The mud guards are probably good because that'd be useful. I think I have a um light bar. Uh, the light bar thing, I think I have that. I think I got that because I was getting annoyed by how dark it was. It was always difficult to see whenever it was nighttime. So I'm pretty sure I bought one of those, right? Yep, I have one. Okay. The fact that you can buy things twice is kind of concerning. Like, can things get broken? I don't really know. Do that. 14. This. The wine's going to be the big boy. Ooh, 149. Nice. Okay. So, first of all, two repair kits. Toss those on. Um. Yeah. Do I want anything from the shop? From this shop? He had light racks, the bull bar. I have 96 stars now. This is gonna be a uh, 200 something. I already have a light rack. Bull bar and the mud things. I'm not sure those are really gonna help. How's the tires? If I can actually look at them. Yeah, this game has its problems. Oh, it's because I was only one. Tires are gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine. It's gonna be a bit of a trek, but they're gonna be fine. No, I want the password. I want the wallet. So. I'm gonna nab the money and the repair kits. Yeah, 215. Nice. I'm gonna nab these, fix it up, buy the gas. Um. Buy the gas. I may need oil. I don't think I have any, so I'm probably gonna have to grab that. But I'm gonna go across the street after I finish doing this and nab, um. Nab a, uh. Oh, what the hell am I trying to say? Uh, mud guards. I'm gonna get mud guards for the car. And eh, ooh, hold on. Battery. How's the battery looking? I gun stranded because of that. 40% charge. That's enough for me to grab an extra battery. Just in case. Because I think we're gonna take the long route. Because without off-roading tires, those really bad routes can seriously screw you up. So it's best to try and avoid those if you don't have decent tires. She did have road tires, which would work fine-ish, but not as well. You know, it, it can still be pretty difficult with the, um, uh, with the road tires, but it's better than using wet tires for it. So, yeah. I may grab the bar, because I have hit a few things, and actually now I think about it, before I make any decisions on, like, um... Like, uh, what item to bring through to sell in the next town or whatever over. I need to check what is banned. It is... Um... It is... Which one is that? It's not medicine, so I'm fine, because medicine's what I'm bringing over. Medicine's fine. I couldn't see... I think it was coffee? Coffee's banned, so don't take that. Tobacco, I may take, grab some of that. I'm not sure. How many medicines did she have? She has six medicines. There are ten each, I believe. About. So that's six or so dollars. It's going to cost me probably about nine or so. Probably about, I think it's like nine liters I can hold, and then a liter for oil, so... Yeah, it's gonna be, I think oil is like five bucks, five or ten bucks. I think I can afford the bull bar. I think that would be the best option is to get the bull bar. As long as I can afford it. I'm gonna prioritize keeping the engine working. Oh, battery, right. Um, I'm not sure if I want to get the battery. I don't know. I had to think about it. I think I have enough for a battery and the other thing. But, at the same time, I'm relying on this medicine making me write mud pads already. Yeah, I'd still have enough for a battery and the other thing. Because, at the end of the day, you still need to have money for a room. So, if I don't have money for a room, you know, that can get dangerous relying on that. I'm probably going to find boxes along the way. These are at least going to make me something. So, I think I have enough safety nets. To be able to do this and not screw myself over. 
Yes, I want the bull bar. I already paid for mud mudguards. I have them out front, right? Right? I'm almost certain I paid for the mudguards. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> I did. I, mean, I am so back and forth right now. I should note, I have no coffee in my system. It's like 3 in the morning. I just recorded this because... I decided to record this because I couldn't sleep and I just wanted to do something. You know? I just felt like I needed to do something. There we go. Mudguards on the car. That's gonna help. And boom bar right there. Nice. That's also gonna help. Okay, everything with the engine's good. And I actually had twenty something dollars, but I think it's like twenty five or so in the next place, or thirty. It may be thirty, because I believe it was twenty five here for a room. So as long as the game doesn't screw up. This should be good. I need to select a route, though. I'm going with the longer routes because it's... R longer route is raining, which is better for the tires I'm using because that's proper conditions you're supposed to use them in. It's not bumpy. It's not a messed up road. It's longer. There's a gas station, so it gets in plenty of different... It's plenty lenient, and it gets in plenty of space to find boxes and stuff, is which is what I'm relying on. Oh. I was pulling to this side a little bit. I'm not sure why it's been doing that. And since I started this playthrough, the car's just kind of pulled to the side a small bit. Though I haven't exactly been the nicest to it, so... Makes sense. Yeah, it was coffee that I saw. I wasn't 100% sure. It's been a little. There you go, my good comrade. Everything good in the back? Hmm? Okay, there we go. Yep. And I roll my window because it is pouring cats and dogs. And we are off. As long as the world loads and nothing breaks, we should be fine. Somehow it's still raining inside the tunnel. That's weird. E everything loaded. Nice. Okay, we can be on our way, hopefully scot-free, as long as the game doesn't crash. I've had it crash on me once or twice, but hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully we'll be good. This path is an absolute ball buster, because no matter what... Ooh! Oh my, what a coast. I had almost forgotten about how stunning these roads are. I'm here for you. Holy Christ, thank God I bought that bull bar because I'm going to be hitting stuff a lot. Found a box already. This is what I count on for my money. And turn the car off. Don't want to run the battery or anything else dead. Yeah, I just had to check for a second. I wasn't sure if I was using those or not. Oh, Christ, I'm sliding. One box already out of the gate. That is extremely good. Uh, crowbar... Let's see what you got. Oh, sausage. Uh, three, three. Okay, boom, boom. This thing currently is still 92. Um, pretty sure price isn't going to change until we actually get there and sleep the night. Oh, got a wrecked car over here. Hopefully I get a few upgrades for my car and hopefully a little bit to sell. I don't usually keep car parts with me because usually they're not really worth much um, in comparison to the amount of other stuff like medicine and all that I can carry. It's just in general norm normally an annoyance, but I am plenty of space right now. I might now have a few extras. Ooh, uh, decal. That's... Would mind some decals? Not sure what's up with the bucket. Uh, what about the tire? Uh, road tires, 13 bucks. I think I have a space for a tire, so I may actually take that. Mm. Come on. And back seat, and... A uh, better battery than ours, so that's nice. Okay, and I think I will take tire, because I'm pretty sure I don't have a spare tire. I... Don't think I really need it. Um, yeah, sure. Add a little flair to the car. Said add a.
Now, if you're unsure about what just happened, let me clarify. The game crashed. Everything went so well. I was feeling so good. And then the game crashed. God damn it, man. Okay, I've... Oh my Christ. Now I remember why it's such pain in the ass. Sometimes this game just loves to be an absolute tit. We're going for Route 3 again. It's longer, it's a little bumpy, but it's sunny. Gas station, so I can replace the tires halfway through if need to be. I also bought a bunch of meds, which I can sell. I got a bunch. I cleared their entire stock, which is a crazy amount. Yeah. The wine was worth a little bit more this time. I still got the money from him, but I didn't get any money from the rooms this time. So, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. And I bought mug guards. I didn't buy the bar this time, because I don't think I'm going to need it. Or at least I can get it another time when I have a bit more money. So I didn't check what was illegal. Still coffee. Okay, good. For a second there, I was about to have a heart attack because I thought it was meds. No, it is coffee, so I'm going to be fine. Okay, let's get the hell out of Dodge before something goes wrong. Oh my. I forget just how beautiful the coast is here. Good for you. Can you put that back up? It's nice to enjoy the breeze. Uh, I don't give two shits. That's really loud. Okay, come on. First box. First box. Each time I get out of this car, I worry about the game crashing. Also, I'm going to try and avoid blind decals or anything like that if I can. I'll storm if I can, but I'm going to avoid buying... I'm going to avoid using them unless I'm buying them from the store because that I feel like that's what glitch... Ooh. Nice. Someone tried to smuggle coffee across the border and failed. But, um, I feel like the decals what crashed the game a few minutes ago, so let's try to avoid that. Hmm. Speaking of the weather, I'm sure you're familiar with how it affects the vehicle. Oh, I know. I swear to God. How many times is he gonna say that crap? I know. Ooh. Right, this area is a bit of a gold mine. Or at least it was the last time I showed up here. Only one box this time, but it's a big one. I'm also not seeing cars all the way out here. Yeah, also, I'm pretty sure this vehicle's stolen. <laughs> I'm very certain about that. <laughs> like, things I've heard and read from the suitcase, I'm pretty sure indicate that this vehicle is indefinitely stolen. And... Uh, oh, more meds. Not worth much. Oh, these ones are worth a bit. They're not worth much. I think they're not really gonna readjust their price until we get to the town. Or in... And if the price still isn't really what I want, then once I get to town, I can sleep and it should change the price. This is an insane amount of meds. If these go for a good enough price, that could be worth quite a bit. Though also... You know, store owners can only take so much of an item, which... Oh my god, are you kidding me? The game just crashed. Okay, got everything sorted. Got things sold, got things bought. I upgrade the engine, didn't get mud guards because they weren't available this time. Let's hope third time, third time is the charm. And thing I want to point out is I did get past this area in the previous recordings I did get past this area you know I got into another area and once I got into the next area I didn't have any problems for some reason this mountainous region I think it is is just really 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 glitchy and I have no clue why once I get past this area I can almost guarantee you I'm gonna have Less, if any, issues. I know, beauty of the country, whatever. Second time now. Oh, God. New engine makes it a bit more difficult to stop. Please don't crash again. I'll put up with the random little noise as long as you don't screw me over. I think it's medicine. You occasionally see through a box a small bit. Hmm. Of course, if by some crazy lack of foresight, we do run out of fuel, we have a couple of options. The most obvious choice is to walk to a fuel station, though that would take a while. I'm kidding, I've had to do it. Okay, right. 
This is part of the problem. This pad splits off. I haven't been able to get this far yet. But the pad splits off and I have to choose a direction. One direction is very flooded. That The other direction is very twisty turning. Let's go the flooded way. I think that way was easier. I don't like all the up and down. It's difficult as hell and I, it would get my car stuck many, many, many times. With off-road tires, it may be a bit easier, but I don't think I've had a chance to test that. You know, between all the screaming and cursing and absolute salt that was seething through me as I constantly had to restart the game to get my car unstuck. My main concern with this rougher road is the tires, but we're already close. 140 meters left. Meters, right? That's what's being measured. Another tip many aren't aware of or just like, too lazy to try this. And that would be you step outside the car and grab the steering wheel. I'll take off the handbrake and you can push the car. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, it'll be slow, but it means we you won't need to leave the car abandoned. Why abandoned? You'd still be here, you old geezer. Starting to lose your mind already, you're only 40-something. Not many boxes this time, but you know what? If I have to give up a decent number of boxes to simply actually get through this without the game crashing, I will be perfectly fine with that. I swear to God, if it crashes in the next five minutes because I said that, Oh boy, I will lose my damn mind. If all hope is lost, you can always select take the car back to the garage from the map. Oh, can you now? It may feel like the feeble when you repair a box, box. God, stop speaking, you old coot, and trying to park the damn thing. Christ almighty. Okay, oh god, I'm sliding so much. I swear to God, if this box crashes, drop the damn box, grab the crowbar, don't break anything. It's so many pills on that one run. Uh, six. Damn. That's it? Really? Oh, please. Oh, usually when I'm able to get into the car and not have anything bad happen, that usually means good things. Can't drive as fast when it's nighttime because my vision is so limited that it becomes kind of difficult to know, you know, where I'm going and try not to crash into things. Mm ah, that looks to be Dilfrook ahead. Finally. Yeah, I could do with a sleep at the motel. Oh, you're not the only one. Jesus. For you guys, that may have been 20 or so minutes. I don't know where that goes. That may have only been 20 or so minutes, but for me, that was like two or more hours of just having to constantly reset things up. I swear to God, if something goes wrong now, I'm going to lose it. There's a motel outside the front. Ah, here we go. Here's the motel. Um, I know things aren't going to be pri- Eh, mine's priced pretty good. I don't want to go all the way to the store. Once, to grab the wallet, head up, check in. Please don't be 25 or so. Please, 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 please. God damn it, 30! Oh, uh, let's go see if I can nab a bit of money from someone. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go walking. Oh, I'm going for a walk. You know what? Went and sell the wine anyways, so might as well. Or do I? See, here's my conundrum. The wine currently is worth a fair amount. When I sleep, I'm pretty sure the prices will change on stuff, so it could be worth absolutely nothing tomorrow. Um, I'll take the tobacco... The wine and the medicine can be worth quite a bit once I've slept. The medicine isn't currently, but the wine can be. The wine is. So it's a bit of a gamble on the wine, but, you know, I may get more. Because that can be worth, like, 50 each, and I have three of them. That's 150 right there. It's pretty damn good. As long as I actually get this tobacco to the store, sell it, go get a room, and don't get murdered by someone in the dead of night. 
Hopefully Michael Myers isn't out and about in Russia, I think. I think that's where this game takes place, right? Russia? I don't know. But either way, hopefully Michael Myers hasn't taken a nice vacation there. Son of a bitch. I didn't bring the wallet. I can't take the money without the wallet. Uh, I fucking hate this. It fucking sucks. This is absolute tits. It is pouring down rain. It is dark as hell and Michael Myers is probably not far behind me. Oh, Christ, why is it out to be raining? Why did I have to forget the goddamn wallets? Why can't the clerk just give me cash? I'm just gonna take the car up there. It'll be a lot quicker, a lot easier. I was probably gonna kill the battery by doing that. I left the lights on. Pretty sure the battery can die when you sleep if you leave something on, so... Thank God I noticed that. I didn't want to take the car before because I didn't want to use the, any of the stuff up. Like, this is going to put some more wear on the engine and stuff that I didn't really want to. But I'm not walking that again, and I'm not walking back again. I'm just going to drive the damn car up there. It's quicker, it's easier, probably safer as well, you know. I think people have tried to kill Michael Myers with the car. I'm pretty sure they failed. Except in one case when they killed a kid that looked like Michael Myers. Um, apparently Uncle is a ghost or something because he just spoke to me even though I'm on the complete opposite end of town. Selling some tobacco for room money. You, you know, I know you have like a few hundred dollars in your pocket considering whenever I'm low on money you just give me some. So, you know. Maybe you could, I don't know, give me the money for our room, you old geezer. If you can even hear me. Thank God there's no cops around, because I am absolutely speed racing my ass through this town. Turn the lights off so you don't kill the damn battery, otherwise... <sighs> that would be a kick in the balls. Accidentally killing the battery in the middle of the night, and then I have to walk up to the store just to get the damn thing. Here you go. Swear to God, give me the room key. I'll disturb as many guests as I need to. Go to the bed. Open up your dummy suitcase so I can read the letter inside for the people. And there we go. Swanson, basically, Uncle. Uncle, you cannot understand the un the unique joy it is to have re oh fuck me, my cursive is rusty. You cannot understand the unique joy it is to have something your letter have read uh written read your read your letter, yes. Uh, out in all these years, after all these years apart, with not a... with not a... not... something, a whisper of your something. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is just gonna end badly for me. Uh, we had almost lost hope of hearing... uh... hearing you hearing from you and our little something again it brings back it brings back Hassan and Marissa to tears to hear a child is safe and doing well with you I'll waste no more time we know a person who can get you back over to the west either Thursday shortly before midnight a van will appear on something painted with something. You be simply something. They will handle the rest. Something, something. Remember these details. Destroy this letter and make it back to us with our baby safe. 
So it seems like he's delivering it us to our real parents. Which is very, very interesting. And I have, once again, strong feeling that Jalopy is been stolen. Please load, please load. Day four. Okay, please let me... Please. Please. Uh. I was trying to save quit. I may have pressed too many buttons. The fact that I had three dollars in my wallet tells me that hopefully. Please. Please. Hey, it's Michael Town. <laughs> Oh, thank Christ. I uh, stupidly reloading can sometimes screw with the price of things. Hopefully for the better. Um, but in general, that is nice. That is really nice. I want to look at um the one market real quick. Because um, if they have something I really want. I'm... See, the thing is, I'm not sure if I can... Oh, nice. I'm not sure if it's possible for me to get... Um, like, buy something, apply it to the car, and then leave the game? I really don't know. Yeah. Uncle, get your ass in the car. We're heading up to the shop. Hey, oh, They have the roof rack, which I want, but they also have the tool rack. Though, if I get the roof rack, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty damn good. The roof rack is quite useful. Let's go sell this stuff real quick. I'll see how much I ultimately get for everything. Then I'll make a decision on what I want to do. Because if I'm going to get the roof roof rack, I want to do it before I end the episode. Nice. 220. I have 90 something. See, I want to get these things like the roof rack. But at the same time, I need to have money for other stuff. Though, there isn't much in this town. I think I'd be relying on boxes for next go around. So these are 25, which is way too damn expensive. These are 25 as well, which can be worth a bit, but nowhere near enough. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy the roof rack. This may not be a decision that sticks if when I reload the game to record the next episode, things change because I'm not 100% sure if I can keep this current state of game. I'm not sure if I can actually save this current state of game. I think it may be when I wake up that gets saved, so I don't really know. But I'll try. Jeez, Christ, that box. Forgot to move it out of the way. Sorry about that. That's like five marks, right? One roof rack, please. Nice. I'm glad to have this. I don't think I got it this early on before. No, as long as the game doesn't break. Hey, have a roof rack. Which is real useful because this is 48 more units of space. Two tires worth as well. Which is really, really good. But for right now, I think that's where I'm going to lead this episode of Jalopy. This was an absolute mess to record because of that one area. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. That area just for some reason is an absolute pain when it comes to recording. I think I got lucky in this case. But... It just has such a tendency to crash the game, and I have no clue why. But for right now, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Jalopy. If you did, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you really enjoyed, then be good, be well, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye!